Good morning guys, it's me again, Betty from Fashion Schlub, and I'm here with another fall haul, a smaller this one time, um, a smaller one this time. Uh, I needed, I still need some cardigans to go over things, and I wanted to add some warm colors to my wardrobe. Um, so that's what you're going to see today. Right now I'm wearing a black turtleneck from Target, and straight leg, not skinny, jeans from Gloria Vanderbilt. They're the short cut. I think I got a size 22. I really just needed a pair of just regular jeans, not skinny jeans, not frayed bottom jeans, not cropped jeans, because it's winter. And when I walk the dog or go into the city with friends, we do a lot of walking or in the evenings, or just if it's cold, if I'm shoveling snow, I want something that covers my whole leg that, you know, I'm not gonna wear like with booties because they look weird tucked in, they look weird if they're out. So I just want something that's gonna go with sneakers for a lot of walking, or high snowy boots if I'm uh, out walking in the snow or shoveling the snow. So these are not bad. They're a little snug in the waist right now. I, they're buttoned but you get a little muffin top, but I feel like there's always a little muffin top. And I know they'll stretch a little bit, but I also know they'll shrink a little bit. But I think it's been a long time since I bought just a pair of straight, just regular straight legs. The problem I used to have was, you know, I get, like my problem always is, when they were big enough here, they were really baggy in the thigh, they were baggy in the calf, and they were way long, so they did a lot of creasing at the bottom and wrinkling, and they're so expensive to hem. So I just would never do that. But these, because they came in a cropped length, they're really pretty good length. Um, yeah, so uh, they're staying. And I needed two turtlenecks, a black and a cream, just to go under a lot of things for the winter. Um, so I'm cozy and warm. The only problem with a turtleneck, especially a black one, and <laughs> It's really funny when I don't have the wig on, but it sort of pushes all your neck fat up. So you get this sort of muffin top at the top of your neck. That's very attractive. And when I, before I put the wig on and I just had my bald head and the black turtleneck, I looked very um, Uncle Fester-like from the Adams Family. So that's never really a good look for a woman. <laughs> I put the wig on very quickly. Um, a lot of people have been asking how my hair is doing how fast it's growing. It's funny, you know, people don't really have a sense. I didn't have a sense of how long it was going to take to grow back. So like my sister keeps asking me, oh, you know, have you been for a haircut yet? Or can you go out without something on your head? And I'm like, no, it's still like five o'clock shadowish. And I'll show you guys it at the end today, what it's looking like. I kept meaning to take a picture every week so I could see like the difference, but the pictures are so horrible because they're just horrible. They're so ugly. I don't really want to show them anywhere, but at least in video, it's quick. I'm moving. It's over. That's that. Okay, so this is outfit number one. Not really an outfit, but uh, turtleneck from Target. This also comes in red, and I really would like a red, but it was, I don't know, it was too, just like too much. So I have the black and the cream, and I'll show you the cream when I try on different cardigans. But now I'm going to show you some cardigans. Okay. Hey again. So I think Caleb's going to be in some of the shots. He got a little lonely hanging out in the bedroom. I have the door shut so it looks better in the, sh in the frame. But then he was trapped in the bedroom. Anyway, here I have a uh, green army utility jacket from St. John's Bay from JCPenney. I've been looking for a jacket like this for a long, long time. Oh, look, there's no buttons on the cuff. That's sort of weird. Anyway. I'm not keeping this. I just, it's just not, still not what I'm looking for. You know what I hate? I hate this great big, I really wanted a tab collar, but it's got to be like a short, sort of thick, stable tab collar. This one's too big and flopsy. It's never going to stay up. It's always going to go like that. And that's exactly what I don't want. So, um, this is the can't remember if I got the 2X or the 3X. I'll let you know when I come back in frame next time. And it does have pockets. Um, you know, it's cute. It's very lightweight. It's it's only a little heftier material than that than that one that I got. 
and showed you a while back that's like a shacket that's very thin, rayon, sort of flimsy. Um, so yeah, this is definitely going back. And the hunt for the green utility jacket continues. We're actually at the stage where it's getting cold enough that I may not even be looking for this again for this year. I may drop the hunt now and pick it up again next year. But this is this one. It was it was on sale. It was like twenty nine ninety. 2990, not 2999, I think, which is odd. But anyway, so if anyone else is looking for one and doesn't mind this thing, it's very affordable. Okay. Okay, guys, back again with another St. John's Bay from JCPenney. Incidentally, the jacket that I just had on before was a 3X. This is also a 3X. Um, it's actually a little nicer fabric than the jacket was, but. I don't think this is staying either. I don't know. You know how like you look on Instagram and you look on Pinterest and through magazines, whatever, and you see outfits on other people, you see items and you go, oh my God, that's so cute. You know, I love that, I want that. And then you put it on and it's just, it's not the same. Um, some of it has to do with weight and body type and what your body does to outfits. Some of it I'm sure has to do with you know, I want the thing for $29.90 and the other person paid $129.90. So theirs is just a better quality and a better cut and it looks better. And mine is cheap <laughs> and, and looks cheap. So that's, uh, that's always something to, to contend with. But it's very hard to let go of those dreams of you've seen the thing, you love the thing, you want the thing. You want to look like that in the thing, but you don't. Uh-oh. Caleb is walking very precariously behind the tripod. He wants to get to his laying down spot in front of the sofa and it's sort of blocked right now with a bunch of stuff. Anyway, so if you, okay, he's moved on. All right, so anyway, this is also not staying. Uh, this is sort of what's nice about when I do these big online hauls is I spend a bunch of money. It's sort of like a savings program because in the end, most of the money is gonna come right back to me because I return all the things. But anyway, this is this. I've loved the idea of a vest for a long time, but this is not the one. Okay, St. John's Bay from JCPenney. Green, army green utility vest. Uh, I think this was also $29.90. It's also a 3X, going back. Okay, this is just the cream version of the black turtleneck from Target. Um, I don't intend to wear either of these like on their own really, but I'm trying to build up some base layers for winter, like the black turtleneck with black jeans and then a gold cardigan over or a green cardigan over or a denim jacket over, or the cream cardigan over blue jeans and really all the same things over, but it sort of changes the look of the outfit. Uh, so this is very simple. It's exactly like the navy one, uh, like the black one. It's 3X Target. Um, one, one new day, which is one of their new lines, and I'm liking it. It's nice quality. Um, it feels nice. Okay. Remember in my first fall haul, I had that very yellow ASOS cardigan. There was the light fluffy yarn, but it was very, very big through here. And I thought if I was always wearing the sleeves pushed up, like over a white tee, it would be fine, but I didn't always want to have to do that. So before I sized down and got the, uh, whatever the next size down was from ASOS, because I wasn't really sure about the color either, and I wasn't sure the smaller size would be the right move, I thought, let me find a couple comparable items from other sources and try them first and see if one of them might, I might put it on and go, oh, this is the one. So this one is from New Look, which is a UK brand. It's my first time buying from them. Um, I always used to look at them. I would like a lot of things from them, but if I'm not mistaken, it used to be hard to shop from the U.S. there. I feel like there's been a couple times where I forget that, put a bunch of stuff in my cart, and then I go to pay for it, and no, can't do it. So I'm like, all right, do I have to find a friend in the U.K. that I can ship the things to her, and then she can ship the... It just it ended up seeming like too much trouble. But it's a nice brand. I mean, they're, they have cute, fashionable things. They're reasonably priced. 
So I took another look at New Look and discovered they now ship to the U.S. And maybe they always did. Maybe I'm thinking of another place altogether. But anyway, they currently ship to the U.S., so that's good. So I got this one that's a little more mustardy gold in color because I like that for fall. But it's sort of the same issue as the ASOS one where it's very big through here. And again, if I want to feel right through here, I would want to push the sleeves up. But in the winter, I don't want to push my sleeves up all the time. I want to be able to have them down. Plus, there's no pockets. Um, I do like the color. The color looks good with a couple things in my wardrobe already. Uh, I have a couple dresses. I sort of wanted the yellow, goldy, mustardy color to go over the blue and green plaid old navy dress that I ended up keeping from last time, even though I said I was going to send it back. It stayed. And there's a loft, sort of gray-blue, paisley print dress that I think I can wear well into the winter because it's a heavy fabric and it will look okay over black tights. If it had some, it goes under the black cardigan right now, but I'd like to have a, an option and the yellow would be nice. But this is, this doesn't look as nice over it as the yellow ASOS one did. So I don't know that this one's staying. It just, it still reads a little large um, and the no pockets, but it is a nice cardigan. If the fit was better, I think I might be keeping it, but I think I'll always, you know, it's just, it's too big in the shoulder for me. And I think sizing down, it will be too snug through the body. So new look, probably a size uh, US 20, either 22 or 24. Again, I'll let you know next time. I need to remember to start looking at the labels before I put the things on and come out and film. Um, so, okay, that's it. Hey. So this is the cardigan version of the kitten uh, crew neck from Charlotte Russe that I tried earlier. And I think I'm gonna keep this. It, it is a little big through here again, but, but I, wanna, I have a couple dresses I wanna wear it over. And I think over the dresses, cause they're either sleeveless or much thinner fabric than this, I think this will fit a little better because it won't get sort of stuck on the, on the, um, because the turtleneck underneath is a little dolmeny under here, so the cardigan is sort of going with it. But I think it'll be good over the dresses. It's again, it's very very soft. You don't get that enveloped in softness thing like I did with the other one because I have the turtleneck between me and it. But I can you know, pat myself all day, and it's almost the same thing. Anyway, it's a pretty color. I've been wanting something sort of blush. It's sort of a mauve pink more than a blush pink, really. But I've been wanting something pink for like two years now. So this will be good. And this is just a nice, again, like I said, over a couple dresses, but casual. I can put it over jeans and a turtleneck or a tee. And it's nice and lightweight. It's very easy to wear. It's, it's very light. Like as much as it looks thick and cozy and comfy, and it is, it's very lightweight. You don't feel like you have a bunch of stuff on. It's not tight in any way. So I really like this. It is, I checked, a 3X from Charlotte Russe. Uh, they were having a big sale and I think this was, I think it was $24.90. There might have been another discount in the, once it got into the cart. I have a couple of things from Charlotte Russe and they were all the same price. And I think they all did the same thing. Like then they came down to like $19.99 or something. Anyway, so this is, this is staying, and it's sort of a real, um, I can't think of the word, departure from my normal color palette. I'm not, when I was younger, I was very pink, and as an adult, I have not been pink at all. So this is, this is something a little different for me, and that's good. It's good to try things a little different. And once in a while, you know, shake up your black and gray and navy and white and green wardrobe with a pink and a yellow. So this is a good thing. So this is the black version of the pink cardigan from Charlotte Russe, also from Charlotte Russe, also a 3X, also the $29.99 marked down to $24.99 with an additional you know, discount at checkout. But I don't know how much longer that additional checkout's gonna be. I bought these like a week ago, I'm gonna say they've been hanging around. Anyway, I do have another black cardigan, but it's a very, it's a very, from Old Navy, it's a fine knit duster length. So it's a little more tailored and I'm gonna say chic looking, 
which is nice for over dresses, um, but it would be nice to sort of save that and not wear that out when I want to just throw in a black cardigan over jeans. This is a very basic um, staple outfit, black over white or cream turtleneck or tee over jeans. I put it over blue jeans, I can put it over black jeans, I can wear it over a dress because it is a nice long length. It is very cozy. Again, I love all these velour sweaters. I didn't think the velour was ever going to come back after it left in the 90s. I like let go of all my velour things. They would have been the wrong length for now anyway. But still, I'm glad it's back at least for a season or two. I'm hoping it goes into next winter. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope it goes into next winter as well because I've bought a couple things in velour. So this stays. This stays. Hi. I love this sweater. This is Ava and Viv uh, from Target, another chenille sweater. I went a little bonkers with chenille this year. Um, 2X, because Ava and Viv gets so long on me in the sleeves, and I, and I figured a cardigan, you know, you wear it open, so it, it's not as crucial that it... Anyway, it fits nice through the body, it has pockets, it's super soft. I love this color. They call it yellow? Uh, no. I call it more of a gold or like a golden something. Anyway, it's not quite the right yellow to go over the things I wanted a yellow cardigan to go over, but I love it so much. I love it like this. I love it. I love the color. I love the feel. I love the fit. Um, and. At the very least, I can wear with blue jeans, I can wear black jeans and black turtle or black tee, um, or over black leggings. So there's three outfits. That's, I try to make that my criteria for any new item. Needs to be able to go into three different outfits. Uh, sometimes, sometimes that happens. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. I just love the item so much. Sometimes what happens is even though it goes into three different outfits, one outfit is clearly so far superior to the other ones that I end up just always wearing that thing with that thing and never breaking it up. And that, that's not really good because it, it limits the number of outfits that I can put together and I need to try and stop doing that. But anyway, once you have a favorite, it's very hard to break up your favorite and go to something that's less favorite. How, why would you do that? I don't know. Anyway, I think sometimes I get so caught up in having so many different outfits or getting, you know, my cost per wear down that I forget to just enjoy an item. I will enjoy this item. I already enjoy this item. I think I'm going to wear this today even though I'm not going anywhere. I love it. Don't you love it? I love it. Okay, this definitely stays. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is the softest thing I have ever put on my body. It's like wearing a kitten. But like in a good way, not like in a sleeping with the, what's that movie? Sleeping with the lambs? Silence of the lambs. Not in the silence of the lambs way, but in a good, you know, if you were a kitten, if you were the softest kitten in the world with the softest kitten paws, this is what you would feel like and everybody would want to pet you all the time. Again, not in a creepy way, but in a nice, loving way. Oh my God, I don't even want to take it off. But, hmm, those, those are the pros. The cons are, I don't really like these little holes. Like, I wouldn't wear these little holes to work, so I'd have to put something under it. And then I wouldn't feel like a kitten anymore, because I would have something between me and my kitten fur. So, what's the point? I already have the cardigans that I can pet and feel the same. Plus, I don't know, it just, it just, the cut or something just isn't, it's so soft. It's so soft. I wish you guys could feel how soft it is. Oh, sorry, it's also from Charlotte Russe. It's also a 3X. It's also chenille. It also was the 29 to the 24 to the 19, um, but it's probably back to 24 now. Um, but it's hard to let it go because it's so soft that I don't know when or where I would wear it. I wouldn't wear it to work because of the holes. Uh, would I even like wear it out and about in the winter? No, I'd put something under it because it would be cold with the holes. I, you know, would I wear it to coffee with friends in the evening? Sure, but that's very um, limited wearability. So... As much as I love being a kitten, meow, I think I'm going to have to send it back. Oh my god. It's so nice. You just, I can't even begin. I think you should buy this just so you can put it on your body. Just so you can have it and like 
when you feel sad or like you wanted to cry all day or people upset you or whatever might have happened, you go home, you put on your kitten sweater, and you just, <laughs> you just be happy because you feel like a kitten. Okay, so that is, that's it for today. Um, I have one more thing in the mail on its way to me. It's a denim jacket from St. John's Bay from JCPenney, just like the green, army green utility jacket and vest that I showed you before. So at this point, I'm sort of not having really good feeling about that. But when it gets here, I'll try it and, you know, let it let you go. I don't know when denim jackets got so insanely expensive. This was $29, and I've never seen them for $29. They're like $59 and $129 and $200. When I was a kid, oh my god, here I go. When I was a kid, <laughs> you know, bread, bread was five, was a nickel, and I walked to school. No, bread was never a nickel. It might have been 69 cents, but anyway. When I was a kid, those denim jackets, I think they were called trucker jackets. And it's what truckers wore. You know, hard working men, not like fashion girls. I'm, and I'm not including me in fashion girls, but you know, people who gave a crap about how they look, they were not wearing trucker jackets. Isn't it funny how things change and evolve and perspective change and what, what was once a very, you know, sort of low end, like sort of ghetto look is now everybody in the world has, I shouldn't say everybody in the world. So many people have denim jackets and it's a desirable item and they look cute over like everything. They look cute over a slip dress, silk slip dress in the evening with sneakers. They look cute over a little floral dress in the summer. They look cute over a white t-shirt and jeans. They look cute over a bathing suit. They look cute over everything. So I want one. I'm just having a really hard time finding one. I'm so distracted by how soft I am right now. I can barely even speak. Oh, and I was going to show you my head. All right. This is a little scary and I will warn you, I have makeup on. When I video, I really have to put real makeup on because I can't like touch up dots on my face in video, which I do do. I don't do any other, you know, I'm not slimming myself in pictures, clearly. But I do fix blemishes because I don't usually wear foundation because I hate the way it feels. But in video, I have to because I can't fix things and I'm still penciling in my eyebrows a little bit. So when I take the wig off, the face is a little frightening. Um, so I'm just warning you. But this way you can see where my hair is for the people that have been asking about my hair. Okay, you ready? One, one, two, three. Oh my god, it feels so good to get that off all the time. So, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if I'm going to keep focused during this, but the hair is just like, at its longest, it's like a quarter of an inch. Like back here, it feels a little longer. And right up top, it sort of shot up a little bit this week. Um, it's very uneven, some parts are still like rough and stubbly. This back here is like super soft, like newborn baby hair. So I like to pet that <laughs> at night when I'm home and not wearing anything on my head. It feels so good to get this freaking thing off. It has this like, they call it lace cap. I call it screen cap. It's like window screening on your, on, you know, your head, on your forehead and around the edges. And by the end of the day, you just want that thing off. So anyway, this is what's my, what my hair is doing for those of you who are asking. Um, clearly it's going to be a while before my hair is long enough to you know, go out in public like this. I know people do. They, some people can rock it. Some people have nicer looking heads and faces. Some people have way more confidence. Some people don't give a crap what people think. Sadly, I'm not really any of those people. I'm very self-conscious. I do give a crap what people think. I don't think this looks nice. Um, so it's going to be a long, long time that I'm wearing this or a hat or a scarf. You know, this, I think this and the hat is the winter deal. Um, the scarves, are, they're very cold in the winter, especially like back here because this is uncovered. I think it's very cold. All right, so that is my haul. Um, really, what am I keeping? I'm sending back the new look gold sweater. I'm sending back both of the uh, green utility jacket things. I'm sending, I think I'm sending this back. I'm keeping everything else. I'm keeping the turtlenecks, I'm keeping the jeans, I'm keeping the pink cardigan, the black cardigan, and the, would you call that color ochre? I like the word, so I'm going to call it ochre. The ochre sweater. And next I need to look through my closet with a pad and figure out what outfits I have. You know, sometimes you end up that you have two parts of an outfit and you can't wear it without the third. So I need to make a list of all the things that are missing so that, I ha so that everything in my closet is part of a complete outfit and nothing just hangs there and doesn't get worn. Um, so that will be the next video. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching again. You guys have been great. I'm like, I'm blown away that people are actually watching these. I, s I so appreciate it. I wish you could all have, all have kitten sweaters. That's how much I appreciate it. Um, if you did like this, please give it a thumbs up subscribe. Um, I have lots of ideas for videos. They'll not always be this long because they won't always be. Let's look at every single item in my closet and every single item in the tub. 
we'll get to what I, I want to do a, you know, how I put outfits together, how I take one item and make multiple outfits out of it. Um, I still have to clean out the shoe section of my closet, so that will be coming soon. Um, I think I'm going to wear this sweater the rest of the day. Can I do that and then return it? <laughs> oh, Gwenevy. Gwenevy should get a sweater like this because I would rent it and then just keep it. That's silly. I should just keep this one just, to, just for my bad days. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. I'm going to wear it a little longer. So next time you see me, I may still be a kitten <laughs> or not. But thanks for watching. Bye-bye.